There are a lot of acronyms to keep straight when it comes to acoustics. Two popular ones you have probably heard by now are STC and NRC. Let's talk about each. STC stands for Sound Transmission Class. Materials and assemblies are often assigned an STC rating, denoting how well the assembly keeps sound from escaping. The higher the STC rating, the more efficient the construction is, meaning it blocks the transmission of sound from one side of the assembly to the other. This is often a concern when we get into speech isolation and speech privacy. In these cases, again, a high STC is best. Here's an example. An STC rating of about 25 typically means that normal speech can clearly be heard through the assembly or wall, while an STC rating of about 45 typically means that loud speech can barely be heard and normal speech cannot be heard at all. Let's say you were designing an office space and the conference room would be holding meetings regarding classified information. Well, then you would want to make sure that the STC rating of those conference room walls is as high as possible. Now let's look at NRC. NRC stands for Noise Reduction Coefficient. NRC has to do with sound absorption. Basically, how well a material can absorb sound and how much quieter a material can make your space. NRC ratings are based on absorption and range from zero to one. So an NRC of zero means the material absorbed no sound at all and reflected all of it back into the space, which would be quite noisy. And an NRC of one means the material absorbed all of the sound and reflected nothing. Basically, the higher the NRC, the better the product is at absorbing the sound. So a material with an NRC rating of 0.95 means that the material absorbs 95% of the sound in the space and reflects 5%. Make sense? So STC has to do with whether or not a material or assembly lets sound leak out of the space to the next room. And NRC has to do with how well a material absorbs sound and keeps the room quiet. A cheat sheet on everything we covered here can be found on our website. Just click the link in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website linked in the description below. You'll find full length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.